So this is this video is dedicated to the DOSU eco. This is how people used to build their own Arduino before Arduino launched. So uh, uh, what they do is they chemically etch a PCB board. And they, it's extremely toxic. So yeah, that's extremely toxic. And then the leftover, the trashes are toxic. So, but still, uh, I see sometimes that the post that drives you know, still making PCB board using this control method. The captain will go to the PCB, so instead of doing this, what this company do is they just make this board, the pre design and fabricate this board and microcontroller attached on it. Uh, so this is how they kind of chemically melt the copper part and then just kind of shake the left it, inhaling a lot of toxic gases. And after that, they kind of glue it and they screw it. Uh, this is, and then I still see still some Undergraduate and graduate students are making like this, and then they, they drill it every day. <coughs> so, and then after doing this, uh, their so called PCB <coughs> microcontroller ABR dude. So, ABR dude is once you have a microcontroller, an uh, ABR driver. Your so it's almost outdated. Use it Oh, ABR driver. ABR driver. Uh, ABR. 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 Yeah, so this one is known as ABR. So what does that mean is using six pin communication. So this one is adapter to connecting to connect your PC 
and your own microcontroller code, and it's kind of uploading programs to your Bible. It basically is kind of uploading your own uh, OS Microsoft uh, Windows or Microsoft on top of this microcontroller. And actually, um, this part known as uh, ISP programmer, which is basically to upload your code, is actually the right part. So by this Arduino is a combination of microcontroller and programmer device combined. So then you want to start and then actually there's an additional part, which is if you see this lower part, this one is actually the power supply. So if you see this, uh, so if I'm going back to uh, this drawing. Let's check if, if you take a look at this hardware. Hardware and Arduino Uno. So Uno is Italian and means number one. So if you take a look at this screen, the right side of this Arduino is actually simply a pin out from this right edge and the another pin out of this uh, left edges. And this is the pin header, which is this one is the top side of that. Here we go, we went to get the left pins, when to go, you get the pin a on your female pin a on the female, these female pins are connected to the left side of this microcontroller and the right side, female pins are connected to the right side of pins of microcontroller. And then this part, this USB, and then you probably see this six pins here, and this another small microcontroller is basically so called programmer, ADR programmer that connect your computer and your Arduino. So Arduino is basically again this communication device, and microcontrollers are. Uh, Kind of bring together. And then the lower part here is actually a power controller. And then if you, this one is a capacitor. And then the role of capacitor, the role of capacitor is just like a this kind of electric power tank. The capacitor, are, capacitor is actually contained for the, any leftover electricity. It's just like a dam or a component of electricity. Water that because it's kind of like a reservoir. And then, if there's any over electricity comes here, this capacitor holds it for temporarily. Yeah. 그리고 요거 보시면 요 까만 게 있는데 요, this black device is known as belt, uh, voltage regulator. Voltage regulator means no matter if the voltage is, it will just has out five volts out. So regardless, nine volt, 20 volt, 19 volt, it doesn't really matter because this voltage regulator will, whatever the input voltage is fluctuating, input voltage is like, what one zone of the group it? It will uh, shoot out their even five volt stabilized voltage. So the voltage regulator. So USB, so USB is equally connected to your computer and it's kind of a communicate with your computer and then microcontroller do its own job and then this one is going to like a later. That's okay. Maybe the Arduino and Arduino. So Arduino is simply making programmer, microcontroller, and voltage regulator as a whip in one package. Because you got before Arduino, uh electron electron. Electronic engineers, electricians, they kind of have to buy all that directory and they connect by themselves and then they just build it. So it was a really painful process before. But after this, I really don't want people to use it. People get it. After this project, I mean, my son, my first son knows how to program now. He's 10 years old. 
Don't turn that way. Uh, and then there's something you need to remember uh, is basically this. So when you use Arduino, uh, you need to understand so-called pinout. So what is a pinout? So let's have a second look at about what is microcontroller. So basically, microcontroller is is that 80 mega 3 to 8p. So this is the specification of this microcontroller. And interestingly, this small device has more than 600 pages of internal specification. We can create a one page of the phone number. They close over here. The computer is more than one. All the information you get is actually in this PDF. So, what is this one? This one is high performance, low power, ABR, is that ABR, 8 bit microcontroller family. Everyone, what is your computers? Do you know what is your computers? We can play the external computer. The other thing is that the Tokoman is called the Tokoman. There's a difference between your computer and this microcontroller is that this one is 8 bit. Your computer is 64 bit. I think that's what it's like. So what it means is that this this can have 131 proper instructions, meaning that programming functions it can use 131 functions. Critical functions because we can do. The some security of the one this is that. Ah, 그리고 나머지는 좀 이제 지나갈 거고. So what is it? That so something important. Operation voltage is five volt. 이거 중요하죠. 그래서 여러분들 이거 쓰는 거는 5V, 5V가 필요한데 우리 5V는 안 쓰죠. 그래서 5V짜리 어디 많이 쓰나요? Where do you use 5V electronic devices? Your cell phone. It's all 5V. So all USB C price, your power supply adapter of your cell phone are 5V. Because they need there are two different categories in semiconductors. One Long term, which kind of old style semiconductors, and they operate five volts. And one of the recent latest semiconductors, they use 3.3 volts. And at the 3.3 volts for electronics are actually low power, actually, they last longer than five volts of device. You want it? So, this one is a little bit older one, conventional stuff, that's why it uses five volts instead of 3.3 volts. 3.3 볼트가 3 볼트입니다. 근데 인풋 볼티지는 레코멘디드는 7에서 12 볼트까지예요. So recommended input voltage for this one is 6, 7 to 12. Meaning that if you connect 5 volt directly, it is an even voltage to offer with the operation voltage. So you need to provide a little bit higher voltage than 5 volt. So that's why it is 7 volt. However, 12 volt to then 12 volt is recommended too. However, possible voltage limitation is from 6 to 20 volt. And actually, 6 voltage came from that lower than 6 volt, your microcontroller may not work. You put to them to the value, you try to know it. 7 volt to the value. Then 12 volt is also reasonably good voltage to operate everything else. Okay. 20 volt까지도 okay, but still 20 volt is okay because this voltage regulator limit is 20 volt actually. If you if you provide higher than 20 volt, it is highly likely that this voltage regulator will burn out. 요거 영화 레귤레이터 할 거예요. 보다 나오면. Then if you say that digital I/O pins have a 14 pins, meaning that 요거 조금 핀들이 몇 개? 이 열네개라는 거예요. 왜 열네개냐? 열네개는 I O pin, input and output pin is the best for your capability. Meaning that 
How many arms do you have? Or how many legs do you have? 근데 여기 보면 여섯 개는 six provided PWM out here. PWM이라는 단체가 있는데 그대로 PWM 가 that has only six. And then if you check about this RV, you know, it says PWM mark. And then number three, five, six, nine, ten, eleven is PWM. So what it means this PWM is PWM is known as Perth width modulation. What does that mean is everything in here is this one, one and zero. And then one and zero is actually depending on this known as clock. And this clock is 1.2 megahertz or something. But this one is 16 megahertz. So what it means is that the highest speed one and zero can be clicked with 16 megahertz, which is 16 mega, 16 million times per second. <laughs> However, what we can do is one zero, one zero, depending on the clock. However, we can even divide the one zero more smoothly. So by doing so, this PWM looks like analog. Here we go. One zero, 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 우리 눈에는 아날로그처럼 빛이 밝아졌다, 어두워졌다는 것이죠. So PWM can control the frequencies of off and on. So by doing so, PWM means in our human's eye, it looks like analog. So we have a technique of using digital technology to analog way. So where you can use PWM? Solar water. And then LED fading, and something like analogous uh, behavior can be done by PWM, and only six can be used using this one. So, meaning that you can use six sub motors with this one Arduino. The Arduino has a row sub motor, and then LED is used. So, that's kind of critical. So again, PWM has six, and again, one more. Analog input pins also, and uh, Arduino has six pins. So analog input is So analog input pins are useful when you use sensors. So set your temper temperature sensor, weight sensor, or light sensor, weight sensor, distance sensor, or need to provide an analog value. In that case, you can use this pin. Meaning that you can use six sensors maximum. So, you can use six sensors maximum. And then you probably see some other pins below the microcontroller, and you probably see five volt, three point three volt reset and ground and read in. Meaning that those are power related. So when you support power to so sensor and LED, you need to use this. So these are roughly a uh, uh, kind of crash course of Arduino. And this is the probably the most important one. So if you see here, uh, you can see pin one, two, zero, one, two, three, four, which is exactly the pin number written in here. So this one is for beginner user. So that can identify the pin number. And this pin number is also used when you program Arduino. Arduino program at the end, oh, they are young pin and the young pin and the other, you don't know what they're doing for well. And then interestingly, so A0, A1, you, you need to, you are going to use exactly A0, A1 in Arduino programmers too. However, the original name, not from Arduino side, but from microcontroller side. So you see, the Arduino is the Arduino. Arduino is the Arduino. So the Arduino is Arduino. So the Arduino is the Arduino. They said this one is port D9. PD1 means port D1. 
So port D1234, and this one is port B01234, and this one is port C01234, and then five volt ground B. So what it means is actually the number, the name, the original name of each pin is actually port one. So actually, so what it means the manufacturer of this microcontroller, your jejoktejeon, okay, they divide four pins into four groups of port, and then they give four different names into port A, port B port C and port D. So that's why it is known as, this one is basically the original name of it. And then the rest of D3, D2, it means that this one is used for digital input and output. And here ADC means analog to digital converter. You got ADC is analog to digital converting. 그게 뭐냐면 역으로 이걸 아날로그 밸류로 넣었다는 거예요. 이렇게 보고 그리고 여기 보면 U P C R X T X and ground A reference, uh, T zero I zero reference, N C는 안 쓴다라는 거고 and reset and three point three volt five volt ground and pre in. So probably five volt three point three volt means 이거 간단하죠. 삼 점삼 삼 볼트만 오 볼트 나간다. And the pre-in is actually voltage in, meaning that if you actually provide a power supply directly into this microcontroller, you need to provide a kind of six volts directly into this pre-in. So when you use microcontroller itself without using this power supply, you need to provide five volts or six volts into this and ground. And you probably see another one, A reference. A reference means that. So as you see that there are four different ports in your, your movement, I thought the ports are negative and not just that. But actually they are internally divided by into two groups. As you see that there's a single column of pins here and another column of pins here. So actually you need to provide two voltages to use this one. 그러니까 이거를 직접 쓰고 싶으면 볼티지를 왼쪽과 오른쪽에 둘다 보급해 줘야 되거든요. So you, in one side, you have to offer V in here, and A reference is actually a reference voltage. So you have to provide a five volt A reference source. 이두 개가 공급이 돼야 된다는 거. And then you probably see SCL, SDA, RXTX and reset voltage. These are actually conventional way of connecting computer to Arduino, which is known as I2C. I2C connection. Ah, uh, how are you? So, would you grab one laptop over there and then use one notebook and use one Arduino connection? And then the previous contents you can use Zoom video after this class. So the secret of these six pins is that you can communicate your computer to this Arduino is two pins are ground and five volt, so two, and another two is RXTX, which is sending signal, transmit, transmit signal and receive signal, and another one is actually SCL and SDA. So these four pins are actually the six pins that is the historic way of using, uh, connecting this Arduino to your uh, USB connector. That's what they are, but that's the thing. 
a little bit too much. However, uh, if I conclude this one, you need to know three things. So one, of course, input. <laughs> Second one, output. And third one is how to connect this input and output, which is in a different name known as mapping. And then, so remember that all you need to know is input and output and how to connect to them, so both mapping. Very simple. And input has two types, output has two types. So input has distal input, analog input. Output has distal input and out, analog input. 정리하자면 여러분 여기서 알아야 되는 거는 두 개밖에 없어요. 아세 개예요. 인풋에 대해서 알아야 되고 아웃풋에 대해서 알아야 되는데 인풋은 아날로그 인풋이고 디지털 인풋이고 아웃풋은 아날로그 아웃풋이고 디지털 아웃풋이고 그리고 이두 개, 인풋과 아웃풋을 어떻게 연결하느냐 우리 매핑이라는 거예요. 그걸 중요하게 이해를 하셔야 돼요. So how so something important. And the creative of use of this microcontroller and all the ways of using Arduino is simply connecting input devices and output devices or output devices and input devices. For example, electric light. So you have touch switch, which is this input. If you touch it, it will turn off. If one more touch it, it will turn on. So digital input, digital output is connected. But actually, you probably see some kind of knob, brown switch, which is if you turn around it, then actually your light is turn, turn brighter and darker. And then do you have the speaker volume is if you kind of slide bar or rotate the knob, the volume is louder and quieter. So analog input, analog output. So this one is direct connect. Electric light, digital input, digital output, speaker, analog input, analog output. But actually, you can creatively kind of connect it again, like how to connect digital input to analog output. Yeah, so there is a one, two, three, four button. Yeah. So you can actually use multiple digital buttons, completely dark, light dark, brighter, complete bright. So this one is using four different digital input to analog output. How about using analog input to digital output? No, it's just kind of just general way of just let's kind of think about it. What is the application of using analog input to this part out? The same just the opposite way. Yeah, but actually, you know the air conditioner. Air conditioner is digital output, no matter how you set 24 temperature, 24 Celsius or 24 to 31. So how air conditioner works is a cooler, and the only way you can use it is turn it on and off. Then how how then there is a smart air conditioner that is corresponding to the temperature sensor? So what it means is that so uh, air conditioner is distant output. It looks like there is an analog input control, but it's totally ignored, it doesn't matter. So it just simply change the temperature sensor setting and it is just simply turned off and off more frequently than before. And that was the same thing goes to people. Heater is not really has no sophisticated device that's controlling the heat. It just will heat or no heat. But if you are kind of set your temperature higher, you just have longer heating time. And then if you kind of set your temperature lower, you just kind of short running time. Let's say it just repeat. So previously on the car, everything. 
was connected analogously, meaning that if you press accelerate channel, that is why are they using the between provider? It basically control the valves of fuel engine here. So if you press it, more fuel goes in, and the car accelerates faster. If you unpedal it, it cuts the fuel and it stops. But and it also brake too. Historically, all the brakes is connected, the mechanically connected the, the, the brake pedal. So the more you press the pedal, the brake pedal will hold the kind of basically the rotor, rotor of the car. But all these days, actually, what happened is more they are mechanically disconnected and basically they will center. So, for example, accelerator, the accelerator simply uh, sends the angle of it, and depending on the angle data, it controls the Actually, now it is actually electric spray. They just spray more here spaces. And if you kind of, if you untethel it, it sends a zero and it does not simply provide zero anymore. In case of the brake, also there's basically there's a screen behind it. And then it simply measure, it just imitates the feeling of pressing. That's it. So it also has an angle sensor. And if you press more, Electronically, it provides more electric, and it, the electric brake will press more the rotor. So everything is disconnected. And what happens? Yeah, all the unexpected acceleration, unexpected brake, system shutdown. So it's kind of like all the problems we experience from the computer happens to the car. Okay, so that's the kind of Arduino. Right. So now I'm going to cover very quickly digital input, analog input, digital output, and analog output one at a time, one at a time, very quickly. And then to help you more, we didn't work it. I found really uh, easy software. Let me just double check the name of it. Uh, okay. Arduino Scratch. The Scratch. Arduino Scratch. Oh, Arduino Scratch. So, to really learn, the purpose of this course is not really to take computer programming, so I will do really easily. Uh, Arduino Scratch. So, please check that Arduino Scratch. Uh, Arduino Scratch is a program that's really easy to use Arduino. So, Arduino Scratch is Arduino Scratch. Arduino. Yeah, I'm doing the on scratch job. There are a lot of similar names, so I just double check. Are you doing no on? Ah, that's the cool thing. You can go. Like the Arduino scratch, take a bunch of Yeah, so kind of what we are going to do is Arduino on scratch. We will search you. Oh, my God, I'm going to show you. I'm sure that you already have it. So I just download it just to show how to install. I just show one more time. So I just uh, download this setup 3.2. This one is roughly about 162 megabytes of. It's everything there. You all have so good prices. So we got So we found it from last year. You can do almost anything using this one. That what I do. Uh, so if you just turn it on, just install setup 3.2 Arduino, I just install it with English. You may have it in Korean. In this case, you have to re-download and reinstall using English version.
전화도 갖고 와야 돼. 거기 끝나면 안 돼. 아는 것도 모를 때. 그래서 so I just I have Arduino on scratch on my computer and then I just quickly agree on it. It's okay. Any version is fine. No problem. But I think the latest version is three point two. Uh, he said, I have failed uh, Microsoft Visual C++, but let's just see. So Arduino on scratch. Because it may be I have uh, this microcontroller, uh, I mean, uh, I think some pre-installation uh, pre part will be already installed, that's why I failed it, but it's okay. So I have this one. Uh, so here, what you have to do, so first of all, uh, uh, this one is Korean version. So uh, if you see that there is hardware, then it said you can use Arduino Uno and Nano, but so far I will use Arduino Uno. And then if you press connect, so it says that Arduino my I already so using this uh, blue uh, USB cable, I connect one side to this rectangular side to Arduino, and then this flat. Uh, flat connector to your PC, then you probably need to see this green light. And this green light simply means that electricity, electricity is coming. And then please check, and then meaning that your Arduino is half healthy. And the rest half, I'll show you how to check it a little bit after checking this. So, 이게 지금 Arduino가요, 문제가 고장이 잘 나요. 게다가, and then another problem is that you will not buy Arduino Uno from Arduino. You probably just buy Chinese imitation board, which is the, the cost is just simply the fracture of original. But then the problem is that there are a lot of uh, uh, error rate. So you need to check. So probably you, you probably buy cheaper one and then you buy it. And then you need to check whether your Arduino board is healthy or not. So whenever you first start Arduino, check the green light is coming. Your green light is yeah. now. The simply green light is this power part is healthy. That's it. It does not tell you that the microcontroller, microcontroller is healthy or not yet. Your green button is and then the easiest way to do that is actually I just open Arduino instead of using Arduino on scratch. So I open Arduino because we have to learn about this. So this is the original uh, programming environment for Arduino. And then what we need to check is go to tool, check your board is Arduino. And there are many other boards, so you have to select Arduino here, and then go to port and check that you, the, if your Arduino is connected, you probably see this text. And COM6 is you may not be that this one is not checked. So if it is not checked, click it and make that this one is checked. And then what you are going to do is that go to file and then open. Uh, go to examples, go to basics, and then go to blink. So, blink. So, under the file tab, click examples, go to 01 basics, and open blink. If you open blink, you will have another one. And this is one of the introductory program. You, what you have to do is click this upload button. Then you probably see that done uploading will be here. If there is a problem with this USB connecting device, you'll have you'll see that uploading failed. 
meaning that some communication device have a problem. But that doesn't mean that your idea is faulty or not is another problem. So what I just checked, done uploading, is that I just simply checking that this communication device is healthy. And finally, we have to check this microcontroller is healthy. Then you probably see that there is a built-in LED, yellow or orange one, which blink one second on and one second up. So if you have this blinking LED, this simply means that your Arduino is healthy and everything is healthy. So you have to check these three things, power, USB connector, and your microcontroller. Then I strongly recommend that you continue to the next step. Because while you're working on Arduino, this one includes every other Arduino devices uh, such as there are a lot of variants. The Arduino is one of the most important things. This is the most So there are tons of tons of different Arduino. If you go to product, I just go to, I just go to Arduino. There are tons of tons of Arduino. And then I have to say that Arduino is not your iPhone or Samsung phone. This one is just all the manufacturer of this device is startup company, smaller than 20 people, 10 people, less than five people. So it, it is not really guaranteed to work it at the beginning. We will have a good idea of what it is. Because you don't have a good idea of what it is. You don't have a good idea so make sure that uh, I see a lot of occasions that my students spend the two, three hours in the really work and actually the argument is just a big problem. So I just kind of teach you this because I don't want to waste your a couple of hours. So I always check whenever I start with Arduino programming, I always check blinking is working. Because uh, I have to say that this one broke so easily. So everybody check that your LED is blinking. Okay. You can I buy your cheese just work? Okay, so uh, let's see. Click this arrow. No, this one is zero zero three. You need to do this. Oh, this one is Korean version. So it's just a sketchable. Is there an English version of Arduino? Let me see this. I kind of can't read it, but I can check it. Check. I do not know. Who oh, is not checked? This one? We need to do check. So we are not going to use our demo today, so we can come with this. Okay, so, so you see your scrap arguments for this Korea? So let's just reinstall another one in English. Interestingly, this one is developed by Korean, one of the University of Korea. I think this one is better than any other NYT based. Uh, oh, yeah, I see that. I will switch to English too. Oh, the... Okay, so then I will show you one more time. Okay, so, so let's go back to Arduino Scratch. And it's so interestingly, you can do almost anything using Arduino. So it is quite good. 
So let's say that I connect Arduino, I was just checking that Arduino Uno that uses COM6, which is the same number that I use that in Arduino IDE. So I was okay, I'm okay. And then what do you have to do? You have to click the last one. So Maria to go to click the Arduino Uno and just simply click the last icon or last button. What this one do is this one simply install a driver inside the Arduino. So what this will do is this one upload an automatic program that runs inside Arduino that continuously communicate with this Arduino on Scratch program. Yes, the Arduino Uno and the last one. So actually once it is uploaded, Arduino is checked and actually the last button is disappeared because it's already uploaded. But let me just double check that I can use English version instead of Korean. So set up, I just reach, I'm trying to install it to install a uh, English version. So I select English and okay. Oh, I may change the setting inside of the program. Let me let me just check. Just cancel this one. Okay, I just reopen it. I didn't know scratch. I may change somewhere. Oh, okay, so I can if you check to this global global icon, I can now I can change the English. Okay, so I'm using English version. Okay, checking Arduino Uno. If your Arduino is checked, meaning that a program is ready. If you see something uploaded, meaning that the program is not ready. Okay, here. Let's do something simple thing. So I just do the same thing. So if you go to event, so this one is actually start point. So the green button is clicked, meaning that green button is this one. When green button, when the green button is clicked, uh, what I will do is so I will repeat 10 times. So I set motion. Looks sound and control sensing operation are okay. All I do you know. So I'll do is I will set this is per pin, and I can change the number by clicking this number one. So I just double click, I just click once, and I just type here 13. And I set 13 as good as high, meaning that I turned on. And then go to control again, and then I'll wait one second. Coming back to Arduino, I will set this per pin and then change the number. And then set as low. So what it means is I'll set the pin high, wait one second, turn it off, coming back to control, I'll wait another second. And then this one repeats 10 times. And one thing, really funny thing is that so, uh, let's do, let's use, Instead of using built-in LED, I'm going to use this LED strip. So if you see that whether you have this LED strip, and then if you see that LED strip, somewhere at the corner, you probably see minus and plus sign. You don't have it? Um, LED strip. So this one, this LED strip has so-called polarity. Polarity means that this one's supposed to be connected plus and minus accordingly. 극성이 있는 device는 극성에 맞게 연결해야 돼요. 
So you probably see that one color is connected to minus and another color is connected to plus. And please connect something plus connected wire into pin 13. And then one wire that is connected to minus sign goes to G and D, ground. So we are going to connect ground and pin 13. 13번하고 그라운드 연결할 거예요. Then probably your Arduino will kind of your LED light will blink like what it means is that pin 13 is connected to built-in LED. So so let's say that um, here that um, so let's see which one is you need to check here that white one is connected to plus and red is connected to minus. So white goes to pin thirteen. <clears throat> so it's here, okay, that's perfect. Okay, so here now so if you so what it means is when green flag is clicked, it will activate it. So I just click that green button. It's supposed to blink 10 times and stop. It's too long, so I just changed it to this one three times and stop. So I just click one more time. Oh, I stop it and green button one more time. It runs more. So I, I changed that. That's kind of to see the difference. I changed this one 0 0.5 and this one 0 0.5. I stop it. And flag again. So I stop. So it looks like mine doesn't really work. So what I do, I click it. Okay. Oh, I see. Now. Yeah, but you see, you can't do it. You Extensions, right? You know. Ah, so I have to connect this one one more time. So, board is ready. I have to click Arduino. So, it said it will say me Arduino is connected and confirm. And if I click this green button, I do know your work at all. Okay, I'll just install I do not driver one more time. So I do know this is on. Install I do know driver. Then stop. Green flag. Oh, I have to click upgrade. I have to think like I have to upgrade firmware too. So uploading 100% close. Press okay. okay, so it's okay. Okay, so we have to do that. So that I have to do three things. Make sure that Arduino is clicked. I install Arduino driver. Actually, this one is for the Arduino driver on your computer. And then I have to upgrade the firmware to Arduino. And after that, 
after that, everything is work as I design. Okay, so when I click, it will history time and done. So how will you done like this? So sorry that I have to explain three things. So for this Arduino Uno selected, and then Arduino Uno is selected, and you have to install Arduino driver once, and then you have to upgrade the firmware to your Arduino. Then everything will be everything will work. To change that, I will do change the wait time from 0 0.5, 0 0.1. So I stop. Okay, so I try to click it. I change it to 0 0.1. And this one, I just take it out, change it to 0 0.1, and I take it back. And if I press green button, it will change it. So if you know how to do it, you will say that. So if you everything is okay, fine. I want to do something else. Let's change this pin 13 to let's say I just take it out. I change this pin 10 to 10. And now I take it back. So now what you have to do is switch your cable from pin 13 to pin 10 and also check your code is working. Just master how to use this or outer. So let's use this third input. Okay, so here is that if you go to Arduino, and then you probably see that read the visitor pin nine. Meaning that this will read the value of pin nine, whether it is high or low. And then I simply bring this one to here. And then I remove all the rest. And I do it. So here, as you see, okay, I even deleted, I only left this one. So what it means is I will set the digital pin number 10 as digital pin nine's value. So this one is simply how I connected pin digital pin digital input pin pin nine to digital pin ten. So your LED needs to stay in ten and then grab of this jumper wire and then connect it this one to pin nine one end to pin nine. If you connect the other pin to ground it will turn off but if you connect another end pin to pin five, it's supposed to turn on. So, okay, this one is when green button is clicked, so I click it. Pin 10 and pin nine. 
pin 9, 5 volt is supposed to turn on, but it doesn't. So what I do, I just reconnect it. I just upgrade the ah. Whenever you change something, you have to re-upload the firmware. Then after, okay, and now Arduino is connected, upload finished. If I press green button, green button click. Uh, okay, so actually I would add a forever inside of it because then this one may just simply do once and stop. So I just upgrade from Arduino Uno. Let me see pin. I said pin 10 after this pin 9. Mm, it doesn't really work. Wrong pin 10. Wait, I don't want to see. Pin 9을 읽어서 요거랑 맞추는 건데 It's supposed to work Let me see Board, Uno, Connected, Board Okay, I'll just double check Let's do something, another one So here um, Okay, so I'll just do I just said forever I just use forever And read analog pin A so far, and then I just, uh, instead of using this one, uh, read value, uh, set, I just use set PWM pin. And then this one is number five, and this one is zero. So I change this one as 255, and then connect it, because press it, I just like, change it to pin five. Pin five. Then you suppose that pin five is fully bright. So this one is using analog output. And this is this one. And now I'll change the value from 255 to 100. And you probably see that the bright level is slightly darker than before. And then I change this one to zero, then it just turns off. So here I do know I use a set PWM pin five output as zero or 50 or 100. Then you probably see that the LEDs, the level of brightness is changing. Okay, so <laughs> 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 <웃음> 이거 모터 써먹어도 웬만한 거다될 거예요. 아, 그치? 여기 써먹어서 여섯 개는. 
Okay, so, uh, okay. And now uh, what I'm going to do, so I kind of here have, actually it was working before. So I just replaced this one, uh, set disturbing 10, but I read disturbing nine. I just reconnected this one. I stop it and I just reclick. I, I just kind of realized that there's some time gap to upload it. So I just change it to pin 10. And as you see that what this can happen is now I'm using pin nine as this is her input pin. And then the value is associated to pin 10. Pin 10, that's this 13 9. Uh, let's wait this one sometimes to time require uh, some delay. Read this 13 9. <laughs> so there, this I kind of this one doesn't work, but I assume that uh, my digital pin nine may be broken. So first I just check set my digital pin high and check. If everything is okay, I just change here. That I just change some I, and then I just use pin thirteen is okay. I change it. Then I. No. 
So pin set 13 pin as high. And plus minus. Suddenly my pin 13 is gone. No pin 11. Nine is high. Mm -hmm. Pin one. You can push it. I'll just use another one. Okay, so let's use a servo motor. Okay, so here in Arduino, I just use ah. Okay. Eleven. So thirteen output input nine five volt. You can't do it. Double power circuit is there. Double power circuit. So this is double power. And as you see, that there are always sensors and so and output devices may or may not have three cables. So what does it mean? Is uh, two cables need to be connected to five volts and ground. And one last one is that for the so called controlling cable, which is signal. So in this case, I just assume that probably if you're black or the darkest color, you're supposed to go to brown. And all the three cables will control each other. Though. And then all the on that, you probably have a red one. And red one, you need to go to, you need to go to five volts. So what I'm going to do. Use one of the cable, male to male cable, connect the darkest one or black that goes to ground and red one. Yeah, so if you want, if you kind of want to know, so this one is done by FHFTEC FS5109R. So, or what we have. So, this one is actually doing RCSM SC3403R. So, what I will do, I will always name the model number. And the specification will give you how to connect it. For example, this one. Uh, this one is. F S five one zero nine R and then continuous rotation standard motor. Some of you may have not just standard motor, someone may have continuous. It's a little bit different, but if you see the model number, and then what I will do is there probably a specification sheet. So here I have to check. If there is, so I also do data sheet. And then if I check it, I found out this one. 
and then it's China. It doesn't really matter. It's a Chinese language, but it's probably somewhere there will be some information about it. It does not, it is, this page doesn't have this word. I just do uh, data sheet. And I check, I want to find image. And one of the data probably show how to connect it. And I, you can, you may check with Arduino too, and many several motors may have tutorial for you. It doesn't really has this, has this. However, it, normally it will be right. <laughs> The darkest color goes to ground, and then white goes to five volts, and some colored one goes to, so in this case, right here, red one goes to five volts, black goes to ground, and white goes to one of the pixel reactors. So in this way, the black goes to ground, red goes to five volts, and then Using one of the another table connected to it doesn't use one of the table. So use this one for any piece of it for now. Let's use I would rather use number three. So I, what I would do, I connect to ground, to ground, turns five volt. ground. Then this one goes to number three. Okay. And then I would use in the Arduino scratch. So here instead, I probably use Arduino. Uh, here set servo pin angle 90 degree. I actually connect it to number three. And then if you click it, Yeah, so you probably see that your servo motor start to rotate. However, depending on your servo type, it probably rotate differently. So, um, So it will rotate not really differently. No, you need to check whether you are using a standard servo or continuous servo. Okay, I don't want to say that if you continuous servo, standard servo, you will have there. You will have to do it. Continuous servo, continuous servo, continuous so okay, so here's kind of what will happen. So your solo motor moves differently depending on the type of solo motor you have. And then solo motor has two types. The first one is continuous, uh, the, actually the most widely used one is standard. Servo motor, and then but actually, so standard servo motor is widely used to make actually rotative angle angle. 
And then actually theta of motor group zero degree to one eighty. Actually, depending on the bending of motor, the theta zero to one eighty or zero to three fifty. So it depends on your sub motor step. So that's why sub motor widely used in car. In case of car, the wheel is used for sub motor. And in airplane, the tail is used to solve a motor because you can control it very nicely using angle. And also, robot arm also is used standard solve motor, so you can use it angle perspective. So if you and then so if you check about toy robot arm. You probably can find easily uh, this kind of robot arm toys. These are all made out of servo motor, and many of them are using standard servo motor because they use angle based movement. So, this is standard servo motor, or standard motor. And then the other kind of servo motor is continuous servo motor. So continue because angle of the solar motor only moves from zero to three fifty or zero to one eighty, only back and forth. We need another type of solar motor if you want to rotate continuously, and this is called continuous solar motor. And unlike angle of the solar motor, continuous solar motor can continue to rotate on a clockwise or counterclockwise. So, if you check about Arduino CC's website, and then if you check about documentation, Arduino document, I'll try to find how Arduino work with a servo motor. If you go to programming, so I, I'm coming here, Arduino document and programming and language prefer language reference language reference. Then you can actually find a servo motor uh, tutorial. So here servo is so I just use control F there's no problem. So I just check our okay, so it's supposed to go to libraries and libraries have Sorbo library. And if you check about Sorbo one, if you see here, so if you then Sorbo, you can actually using write function. So you you see that okay. So this one is the part that I need to explain. So let's read it together. So solve right is that internal function that I did on scratch will use. So on a standard solve and there's on a continuous rotation solve. So there are two different kinds of code. On a standard solo, this will set the angle of the shaft in degrees and moving the shaft to that orientation. What does that mean is if you write down right and zero, it will go, it will go and say zero. And if you if you type 45, it will go to 45 angle and stay there. And then if you actually oh so not the, so actually zero is the origin. And then 0, 90, 180. So if you want to move it 45, 0 to 45, 90, and 135, and 180. So this is the circle. On a continuation rotation servo, this will set the speed of a servo, not the angles. So if it is 0, being full speed in one direction, and 180 is full speed in another direction 
So you did it. So how to start it? Ninety. But it's slightly different. So if you use continuous turbo, if you want to start, use ninety. But actually, when you try that, you probably need to change to eighty-nine or ninety or something. There are a little bit uh, error. So if you and if you want to rotate from a counterclockwise, just use ninety. That it will run full speed. If you stay right at zero, it will rotate another direction full speed. So if you use forty-five. It will rotate continuously somewhere mid speed. So, again, when you use a standard turbo, when you use a continuous rotation turbo, it's different. Standard turbo number represents the angle. But in continuous rotation server, based on 90, if the number represents the speed in certain direction. So, that's the two different things. So if you want to use peel, you may want to use continuous turbo. If you want to use it as a key or peel, you may want to use standard turbo. So play. Oh, so first of all, you need to identify what type of solo motor you have. Then please search. Your motor, your solo motor must have some model number and Google your servo to check whether your servo is continuous or standard. And one other thing, servo motor is divided to another two different types, which is minor to head. This one is plastic gear servo motor. Generally, it is cheaper. And, but it does work. Does it work? Does work? Okay. And then this is a metal gear servo, which is normally more expensive. However, this is more durable. So let's see. So in this case, so this one goes to the ground. This one goes to this one. And this one goes to the Okay. And instead of using the key, I just use. Forever. It doesn't make any same thing as good, but it doesn't So, so can three angle at So, when it is so, okay, so this one is not connected yet. So, I just put it in. I never use it. I just reconnect and read it on the phone. So, this one is so initially.
Oh, yeah. Maybe the power is not enough. So this one looks like continuous trouble. The water is not working, but does it work? So let's change it to 90 to 0. So now it's a, it's a standard double. So now it's a 0. You have to change the number to 180. So now it's changed to 180. Okay, so now. Yes, yes. Well, I think it will be 0 to 180. Uh, let me double check. So, yeah, it will only zero work only zero to one eight. So, you got to verify the top motor. Okay. So, now let's do some other stuff. So, let's say that now let's connect instead of using 90, I will say I will use read analog of pin, read analog of pin A0. What does that mean is that this will read the value of A0. 
So now my sofa homes are kind of uh, crazy now. <laughs> What's going on now is actually A0, because I didn't connect an A0 sensor here. So what I'm going to do, would you, if you connect the jumper cable ground to A0, Now it's kind of working one direction. If I connect to five volt, and actually there's really no, uh, so if you connect it to 3.3, mine is rotate very slowly. What does that mean is that, I will check about what does the A0 working. So the option is you can connect A0 so far now, you can, okay, so connect it to, you can connect either 0, 3.3, or 5 volts for now. And then simply A0 read the voltage it is connected to A0. And to understand the one, I go to function and I will use analog read. And here, Uno, I will explain that. So what we know is that the input value we can use is A0 to A5. And then operating voltage is five volt. And what it means here is it says 10 bits. Do you know what does that mean by 10 bits? Let's Google what is the 10 bits mean. 10 bits is 1025, one 10 bits in numbers, in decimal numbers is 10 bits, 10, 10. Ten bits. If I have, if I explain long story short, if it is five volts, the value will be ten times to four. If it is zero, then it will be zero. If it is two point five volt, the value will be five twelve. We have six minutes left. So here, so what is that? The problem happens is that read and oh, is there any way that I can read it? I want to show what is the value showing. Okay, so is there any thing from the current minute? Okay, so here's the problem. So if you connect A0 to 5 volt, the value will be 10 times 4. If you connect it to zero, the output will be zero. So here's the problem. Our solo motor only works with zero from zero to 180. But the input value we receive is zero to 10, 10, 4. How do we do with this different matter? Divide by one. <laughs> so, so what we have to do is the maximum value is 10 to 4 from the input side. But the maximum value we can use from the output side is 180. So we have to map it 0 to 10 to 4 to 0 to 180. So we have to lower. So actually there is a many mathematical function here. So if you go to operators, is there any um, mapping 
So probably, so if there is there is no mapping, but you can actually find you can actually find some. So here is the map value from low high to low high. So what it means is map value, which is we are going the value is with analog pin A zero, and this value will have zero to ten twenty four. More precisely, it starts from zero, not from one. So the maximum value would be 1023. And the value we are going to map, map this value to low side is zero and high side is 180. So this one is a simple way to map a sensor value. So here, this one will go here. So this will be very long. So what does that mean is we will set the output pin number three angle. However, the input value is A0 and the range is 0 to 1023. However, we are going to map the value 0 to 180. That's what it is, what it means for here. And actually, this one is quite difficult to read. So I want you to have fun this weekend. So until next Friday, so here's the thing. Let's go back to, so this is how I want you to exercise by yourself. You will, so I didn't want to go to the house. So I 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 want to go to the house. 그런 거 듣고 네? 아, 아 일반 그 동물이 또 있고요. 네. 그러니까 어, 스탠다드도 있고. 아, 또 아, 힐스 하나 더 팽. 리프렌디 먼저 써도 못하. 힐스 써도 못하. 로스 with 5 volts. 근데 써도 못하. 막 12 volts에서 작동하는 것도 있고, 24 volts에서 작동하는 것도 있고. 네. 그러면 다른 거는 알고리즘으로 작동을 안 해요. 그거는 만약에 5볼트짜리 서브 모터는 또 웨디 바이 알 서브 모터 오 원하는 것이야. 비니스 체크 오퍼레이션 볼트. 오퍼레이션 볼트가 5볼트이면 so it is 5볼트 5볼트. It will work with your idea. It is it uses in general the uh, more subtle motors is used in robotics and other area. It may use 12 volts or 24 volts. 20, 12볼트나 24볼트를 쓸 수가 있어요. 아, 저기 오셨어요? 아, 네, 잠시만요. 네. 아, 네. So what happens is that in case you, so 이거 가져가세요. 아니, 그거는 사실 이제 12볼트짜리인데 5볼트짜리인데 모르거든요. 네. 네, 5볼트짜리가 아직 작동이 안 돼요. 네. 가져가는 것도 테스트 해보시고 12볼트나 또 in case you use Another voltage uh, solar motor with Arduino, you need additional device in the middle. That is called motor driver. Ah, so the motor driver is there. So what is it? What is it? 아, 우찌 씨 지금 2층에 또 손님 오셨는데 좀 열어 주시겠어요, 근데? 네. 네. So, 서브 요거는 다음 주에 할 건데. 아. 서브 모터 드라이버라는 게 하나 더 필요해요. 그게 뭐냐면 so you need additional device called motor driver. Meaning that since I do know and everything is only work with 0 to 5 volts. If you work with other voltages, if just generally it gets higher voltages, you need a middle device. So Arduino only controls 0 to 5 volts. So from 5 to 0 volts, there's another device controlled with 0 to 12 volts or 0 to 24 volts. But Arduino is 
0에서 5볼트까지 다 컨트롤되기 가능하고 요걸 통해서 0에서 12볼트나 0에서 24볼트까지 컨트롤하려면 뭐가 하나 더 필요해요? 요걸 좀 드라이버라고 불러요. 그걸 하나 더 사셔야 되는데 그거는 아마 이렇게 해서 그래서 그거는 모터마다 다 달라요. 네. 이런 장치가 하나 더 있어야 돼요. 네. 네. 그리고 and then next week I will explain about that. So also digital output or digital input. The digital input we can use is only zero to five volts. But many electric devices we are using daily use is zero to 110 or 0 to 22 volts. That means you need another driver, but this one is called solenoid or electronic switch that controlling 0 to 110 or 0 to 220 volts. 요거는 다음 주에 한번 할게요. 네. 그래서 오늘은 네, 시간 초과됐어요. 여러분, 여기까지 해요. 네. 네. 여러분, I, so you can actually keep and take the package with you, and then I hope you to have fun. <laughs> so, you're on the way to so, and then another physical input is zero and five in case that my recommendation is connect the jumper thing five volts represent on if you connect ground then you have zero volts then it's off. So, that's kind of how you invent this third button. You go, can I? So, did you work with? Okay, let's make an assignment. You can one here, okay. <laughs> That's one minor assignment. So show me <laughs> in YouTube video <laughs> that your sub offer is working. Please upload it to Facebook by before next time. So have fun. So we're using uh, yeah, so simply show me how to that you can the using will successfully learn how to solve a motor for the video and over to Facebook. Okay, that's your Okay. All right. Okay, thank you. Yep. This is not Uh huh. Oh, nice. That's beautiful. Yeah, and I'm actually.